Let's have a sesh on takeovers. This is question one, part five. It's a 16 marker. Let's get straight into it. So the key things you need for a 16 marker are knowledge, although in this case it will be implicit, application, analysis, evaluation, and of course, always you need to have your judgment. So let's go through this answer. Deciding whether to make a takeover bid is a difficult decision for any business to make. Therefore, it is arguable that the information provided in appendices A to F is not sufficient to make this decision off of. So straight away, we've gone in and we've made a judgment. We've said that it's not sufficient. You've answered the question there and you've shown that it's in reference to the context that's been provided. Now let's move on to the next paragraph. On one hand, it can be argued that the data provided is enough. Appendix A is arguably very useful as it shows the structure of Marks and Spencer PLC, financial accounts. From this information, the rival business could work out the firm's liquidity ratio. It is 0.73 to 1, suggesting that M&S has severe liquidity problems, thus proving to be useful for a firm looking to take over as they will be able to identify that financial intervention is desperately required to ensure success in the long term. Furthermore, this data may be sufficient as it also provides an insight into M&S e-commerce performance. Appendix D suggests that despite weekly site visits increasing by 11% in 2017, online revenue is only increasing by 5.6%. This identifies a potential problem as it suggests that M&S PLC are not living up to customer expectations. This would prove to be very useful when making a takeover bid as they would be able to adjust to a lower offer due to the inevitable help M&S would need to secure sufficient sales growth in the long term. Also, Appendix F is very useful as it shows the substantial decline in share price from 600 pence in 2015 to around 350 pence in 2017. This suggests that there has been a fall in consumer demand and subsequently in profit. A takeover bid would therefore be acceptably lower due to the help required to increase demand. Consequently, appendices A to F arguably provide sufficient data to make a takeover decision from. So this, as always, this analytical paragraph has started with signposting to the examiner that you're going to show one side of the argument. You're going to show one side of the analytical argument. Keep it easy for those examiners. Don't make them stress. So we've gone in and said here why the data provided, well, actually why it's enough. And we've used the ratios calculated in the previous answer, and it's showing that it's not a great current ratio and that it suggests there's going to be severe liquidity problems. Um, and then that's a problem because they now know whoever's going to take over, that it's going to be desperately required to, to have a cash injection. Um, you've then clearly made a developed argument here. And then another developed argument is going to be made with the idea that They've got some insight into the e-commerce performance and that it's been lagging over the previous years, that it's only increasing by 5.6%, despite the weekly site visits increasing by 11%. So again, another developed argument, but the key thing in context here and in context here. And then a third developed argument, which ends with a judgment, because again, you've taken that change in the share price, suggesting there's a fall in consumer demand, and it's explain, explaining context with those share price numbers. So beautiful, very analytical paragraph, but it's been developed and there's a judgment for at the end where it said that maybe there is some sufficient data to make a takeover decision from. But then we move on to the next paragraph. On the other hand, it can be argued that the data is not sufficient. While appendices A to F provide an in-depth insight into the performance of M&S in 2017, they fail to display information from the previous years. This would deter a business from making a takeover bid as there is insufficient detail to the general trend of M&S, which depicts a clearer picture of long-term financial performance. Therefore, including a cash flow forecast may have been useful to aid a potential takeover decision. Moreover, the data is not sufficient as it gives no indication to the nature of the employees. 
If the employees are loyal and secure, they may feel threatened as a result of the takeover due to their preference of the status quo, as proposed by Cotter and Schleslinger leading to demotivation and resistance. This would make a takeover more difficult and will elongate this process, perhaps leading to redundancies, damaging reputation as a whole. This suggests there is not sufficient data. So this paragraph starts by signaling to the examiner, on the other hand, that we're gonna start and make some balance. And the balance is that it's not sufficient. And it's not sufficient because there's basically not enough information. They've failed to display the previous years in the context. And that's a classic evaluation point that you can make with any financial data is, do you have your own internal data from previous years or do you have any of the competitors' data? Otherwise, it's just standalone data that you don't really know where it stands. And in this case, you don't have previous years. That's a problem if you're gonna to look to make a takeover. So therefore, you don't know the general trend. So you've explained it and you've developed that point. Lovely. Got on to another point that there's not enough information of the employees themselves. And then you've used a model here. So a little bit of application here should be in blue, that bad boy. But it's all beautiful. It's all providing balance. And then finally ending with that judgment, which is based off of everything up here, that there's not sufficient data. Now let's move to the, the big boy, the conclusion. In conclusion, it would be unjust to make a takeover bid solely on the data provided by appendices A to F. This is because they only show data from 2017 and do not therefore give any indication as to how MS would perform in the long run. Furthermore, no indication is given as to the composition of employees and their attitudes to change, subsequently making takeover decisions difficult for a rival business due to the limited data provided. So beautiful making a judgment, but before it makes a judgment, it just signals to the examiner again that you're gonna make your conclusion, mate, and here it is, so read it. And within that, we've gone and said that there just isn't enough data, it's limited, there's a limited amount of data, there's, there's no information about the employees, as was mentioned up here, and there's no data from previous years that's all mentioned up here. So basically, there's not enough information, and that's justified through your analysis, which was definitely developed. Beautiful stuff. And I'll see you at the next session. Yeah, I'll see you at the next session.